The father of two siblings who lost their lives in last week's high-speed chase that ended in Nashville spoke out today about the circumstances involving his children's death and why he feels the entire situation could have been avoided. Fox 31's Courtney Highfield explains. A week ago from today, Daryl Horton received a phone call he never imagined getting. Two of his children, 23-year-old Matthew Horton and 32-year-old Kelly Prescott, were killed when a vehicle involved in a police chase slammed into their SUV. It was a first for us to have to hear something like this. I pray that it's the last. Daryl Horton said outright he feels the whole situation could have and should have been avoided. He doesn't see any need for a high-speed chase to begin with. The governor needs to, to say that's it. No more of this stuff. If it ain't a serious crime, just let them go home. They'll go home. The Tiff County Sheriff declined to do an interview about their chase policy, but we did get a copy of the policy itself. The very first line of the policy, dated in 2007, outlines the factors to be considered before pursuing a chase. As one, the offense committed, misdemeanor or felony. Two, whether the identity of the suspects to be pursued is known to the deputy. And three, the deputy's knowledge regarding past and or probable future criminal conduct of the person to be pursued. A high-speed chase? That is so uncalled for. So uncalled for. According to the policy, a high-speed chase is the very last resort for deputies of the Tiff County Sheriff's Office. The second section of the policy states when attempting to stop a violator who has not yet begun to flee, the pursuing officer should keep in mind personal safety and try everything within his authority to apprehend the violator without resorting to a high-speed chase. Fox 31 also filed an open records request for a copy of the incident report concerning the chase. We were told this may have to be reviewed by an attorney. We then called the county attorney and were told he'd be out for the rest of the week. Courtney Highfield, Fox 31 News.